Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're going to look at Vision from Mikhail Chatlain and Gimmick Magic. What is Vision. Vision was one of the tricks that was the hit at Blackpool. It quickly sold out. It's a small device that allows you to do uh, the memorized deck routine where you can hand the deck out, any person can freely shuffle it, handing it back to you, you can determine which card is which just from feeling it. All right, so that was Vision from Mikhail Chat Lane. Couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews and the first of which is, What's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, it's a little tiny plastic bag. There's really not a lot to it because the gimmick is very small. I try to keep everything small, compartmentalized, small, uh, small packaging. Uh, so you're gonna get the gimmick, okay? You're gonna get the gimmick. The gimmick is machine made, so it's pretty cool. And you're gonna get the download code to the 10 minute video. Is it what I thought? You know what? It was one of the things I thought it could be, but I almost kind of thought it couldn't be, but it was. So I won't, take, I won't take any credit and say that I guessed it, because I didn't. It was an option, but I threw that option out because I, my magician brain said, nah, it can't be that, but it was. Just so you know, there's no marking points of reference. You're not getting a deck, okay? You're only getting a gimmick. Uh, there's no inks, there's no chemical products, there's no force. The spectator can freely name any card, or you can determine which card is which. How are the angles? The angles on this are really good. All of the magic happens uh, close to you. So uh, it's all happening between the deck and you. And so uh, again, I wouldn't advise people on the sides and back. I think this works really great for table hopping, table magic, because everyone's gonna be, you know, like right in front of you or in a good like street magic uh, situation. Table hopping, I think is probably the best parlor. It's probably really good. Again, wouldn't put anybody on your sides or back. Can it be inspected? You know what, here's, here's uh, my thoughts on this, okay? Uh, I think it can be inspected, and I think it even could be inspected inside the deck. Now, Mikhail probably wouldn't advise this, and maybe some editions wouldn't either, but this is really disguised to look like a card, okay? It's disguised to look like a card. So, your spectator doesn't know what they're looking for, right? And so I think there's ways to make a deck inspectable without even handing it out. You could fan all the cards towards them, fan all the cards behind, you know, on the back sides, face sides, whichever. Fan through the cards like this, spread through the cards, you could certainly do that. Otherwise, I think Mikhail would suggest that you do a load and a ditch. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, like I said, the video is roughly 10 minutes. It's actually more like nine minutes. It's nine minutes, it's really short. Uh, and it's all filmed it just seems like it's filmed in a loud diner during Mikhail's lunch break. Like, it's done really quick, and there's a loud kind of ambiance in the background. I don't even think he's mic'd. Um, you get a straight-on shot of him at the table, and then you get one over-the-shoulder shot so you can see kind of roughly what's happening. But in nine minutes, you only really have enough time to barely go over how to utilize the gimmick and then barely go over the two tricks that he suggests, the one where the spectator names any card and you find it, or two, you just name every card, which is really the same trick. You're just approaching it from two different ways. So I can't really go in much and say there's a lot of positives with the video just because of how it was shot and how short it is. Is the gimmick well made? Yes, it is well made. Like I said, it's machine made, machine made to assure quality. The gimmick will, I think, surprise you how well made it is. It is a classic of magic. It is a classic of magic being used in a new way. How much practice does this require? Um, it doesn't really require practice and it does. It's, it's, it's a weird one because I was able to put this into a deck and start doing it right away, okay? so. Using the gimmick doesn't require a lot of practice. Performing with the gimmick will require practice because you need to make it look like you're not doing what you're doing, okay? You're actually gonna have to pantomime or act or pretend that you're not doing what you're doing because if it looks like you're doing what you're doing, your spectator will just know you're doing what you're doing and they'll say, hey, you're doing that, okay? So you can't do that. <laughs> so your practice has to be in having this be casual, having this be something that is a part of you. And some of you, some of you mentalists might already have uh, this practice already done. Uh, this is the common thing that mentalists do do um, 
and, and I won't give away what it is, but um, I think those of you who have some practice with this style, well, it, you'll adapt easily, but I think if you're a card magician and you've never done this before, I think it's gonna require some practice. Yes, it requires practice. No, it doesn't require practice. Man, that was confusing. How much setup and reset is there? Uh, like I said earlier, uh, you could load it into a deck. You could ditch it, uh, it's possible. Or you could just keep it in your deck at all times. I don't always think it's necessary to hand the deck out and have it be inspectable after every single trick, okay? Especially if you've handed this deck out before and someone's given it a shuffle and they've handed it back. I think you could bring it in once and, and not have to worry about handing it back and having it be inspectable. So I think it'll blow right past people. The other great thing about this trick as far as inspectability is, uh, yes, it'll come in a red or blue rider back, but I don't think that should limit how you think of this. It, it has a standard face. And so technically, uh, they don't have to see the back of the card. Okay, So you could load this into any deck, any of your favorite decks that have a standard face. If you were worried about the back, then I'd say, you know what, an easy workaround is, just get the Joker from your favorite deck and just double stick tape it to the back of this gimmick. It's not really gonna affect how the gimmick works at all. And all you're doing really is making a thick card and people like thick cards, they're easy to find in a deck. So you could have your thick card in there and then bam, it's ready to go. Positives, all right, so what are the positives to Vision? Uh, Mikhail Chatlain has created the most simplistic, memorized deck trick I have ever seen. This will fit seamlessly into your deck or your next routine. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Uh, like I said earlier, I just didn't love the video. It's a way too short, wasn't filmed very well. Uh, way too short, wasn't filmed very well. All right, so is it worth your money? Uh, it's 25 bucks, 25 bucks for, like I said, you get a machine-made gimmick, which is awesome. Uh, this sold out at Blackpool, so, Apparently, there's a lot of other magicians that think this was worth their money, so just think about that when you're going to hit purchase. All right, so who would like this? I think people who have been looking for the perfect memorized deck routine would love this. Uh, mentalists especially, or card magicians that are trying to get into a memorized deck routine, I think would definitely get a big kick out of Vision from Mikhail Chat Lane. All right, so that is our review for Vision from Mikhail Chat Lane and Gimmick Magic. Of course, as always, I would like to thank Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this trick so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase this trick for yourself, you can find it from your very favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks. Bye.